and a non-governmental organization has taken advocacy on sexual harassment and how to prevent and respond to it in the campus. To this end, it has trained 50 female students from the University of Abuja on the prevention and response mechanisms for addressing cases whenever they occur. Plus TV Manuel Ikijana report is presented from our studio. This is what we're talking about, being brave. Sexual harassment is a global issue that has been addressed by governments and non-government organizations and civil society organizations. In Nigeria, legislation has been passed to reduce the prevalence of sexual harassment in various settings, including work, homes, schools and tertiary institutions. However, an NGO is working to end these by sensitizing and training 50 female students at the University of Abuja. The campaign, titled Amplifying Female Student Voices, is now being held at the university campus. We have a voice as, as female students and as females generally. So all what we need to do is to amplify the voices. We need to be heard. The culture of silence is actually prevalent and that's why there's low reportage on sexual harassment. Or sometimes you look at it, people do not even know that what is happening to them is actually sexual harassment. So Gender Mobile Initiative has been strengthening the, the capacity of students for them to know. So we're looking at, we've trained them on different types of, um, of courses like the campus organization. We have also trained them on, of course, the earlier one I said, the bystander intervention, and then the first aid psychosocial support. We are seriously pushing for the um, passage by the presidency of the sexual harassment prohibition in sexual institutions bill. We believe that bill is very vital to safeguarding environments of learning and to serve as that legal framework for institutions to look up to when it comes to addressing cases of sexual harassment. Um, at, the, at the institutional level, we also have a national policy still on sexual harassment prohibition which we've designed in collaboration with the independent corrupt practices commission the icpc for short and we're looking to disseminate that policy that policy has also been endorsed by the ministry of education and we're looking forward to disseminating that policy and ensuring that it's implemented in um, environments of learning some of the students share their experiences as they give reasons why sexual harassment still persists in institutions and why the training has been of great help to students while also calling for more awareness programs. They call them lecturer boys, those ones that assist the lecturers to mark. They'll tell you, I have the right to mark your results so I can remove mark from you. Or they can even enter exam hall and touch you, do whatever they want. And people are seeing it, but they can't do anything because they are scared of them and they don't know what to do. So because of that, I as a person, I felt like there's a need to stop all these kind of things. And even if they should report to the authorities, there are some people that are friends to those lecturers, those perpetrators that are harassing the student, there are some people that are part of them that they can easily report and like this also student is reporting you to the management. So because of that, they can easily threaten the student with uh, their, their results and the manifest function of every student, that is the primary assignment is to have a good grade, graduate with a good CGPA. This initiative is one as such that it is like a blanket that has come to cover persons that have been sexually harassed. It comes to let people know that if you are sexually harassed, you have a voice. You should speak up. You shouldn't keep quiet. Keeping quiet to give room for the perpetrators to begin to do more. Campus ambassadors receive certificates of participation enabling them to continue the campaign. Our institutions were encouraged to implement programs promoting student sensitization and reporting of sexual harassment, ensuring perpetrators are caught and punished. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.